بسم اللہ الرحمن السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آر یونٹ فور دیٹ از ان سائڈ سسٹم یونٹ ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ایز ان پریویس لیکچرس ان پریویس کلاسز وی ہیو لرنڈ اباؤٹ دا سسٹم اینڈ اٹس مین کمپوننٹ In unit 4, we are going in somewhat more detail about the system unit. It's your main rectangular box that has all the peripherals, that has all the internal circuits inside this box in, enclosed in this casing, which is known as system unit. It may include your motherboard, processors, expansion slots, cards, all internal circuits are present inside this system unit. And in this main system unit, main component is the circuit board, that is motherboard, on which all the peripherals are connected using different slots and pins. And uh, this uh, uh, casing is available in different sizes and shapes. Here, You can see that this is a tower PC. Inside this PC here, you can observe that we have all the components inside. We have also observed these different components in our lab class in which we have examined hard drive, optical drive, and then power supply and fans, connectors, slots, all these. we have physically viewed in a class. How these two main components are different from each other, CPU and system unit. As we have earlier discussed earlier, that these are two different components of your computer system. System unit is the main casting in which motherboard and all the internal components are enclosed, whereas The CPU is the central processing unit of your computer system, which is more in more generic form known as processor or microprocessor of your computer. Here, in this comparison, you can see that, you can view that system unit is this your casing, this enclosed casing of your computer internal components. This is the cache which holds all the internal components of your power supply, storage devices, all the circuit boards, including the motherboards and other components are inside this main square box. Whereas CPU, CPU here you can see that this is the chip, actually that is the brain of computer in which all the processing tasks are taken place. Hopefully now the difference from among these two components are more clearer now. Central processing unit, CPU, which is also known as brain of the computer system. And in physical size, this is very smallest thing inside the computer system. And it's the CPU which assigns all the tasks to the all units of your computer system. to work and perform all related tasks. Here, this is the image for um, image of the Cora i7 from Intel company. And the relative second term that is computer casting, which is also known as cabinet, box, housing, or computer cache. Usually it is constructed with steel or aluminum, The material of your casing is maybe steel or aluminum. This casing comes in two main types, desktop casing and tower casing. Desktop casing is almost uh, uh, old type of casing and designed to keep on the task. Here it is, the desktop casing. Whereas the tower casing is modern type of casing and it, uh, in this case we can place inside the table and uh, it will may 
adjust more adjust your systems uh, when we are placing them on the cables just like here you can see that this is the tower piece or tower system unit when we explore the system unit inside system unit there are two main components motherboard and power supply so inside this system unit two main components are power supply and motherboard as we know that power supply is uh, what type of component hmm it is actually main power supply which supplies to the other components internal components of the computers and it actually changes the direct current alternate current to direct current here here comes your power supply of working computer you can see that this uh, at the back side of computer this power supply this is the main port for external uh, power cable to inject in to give the main power to the computer and inside the computer this is the unit which will distribute the power among the components and changes the alternate current to direct current and then comes the second component major component of internal computers system unit inside the system unit main component is motherboard which is the main circuit on which all the peripherals are connected on different types of uh, slots and uh, different uh, small components are screwed over different holes inside this and all the systems the internal co components are mounted over here there here you can see this image hopefully up till now all the major components are uh, here we have understood about the computer system unit in which we have um, understood how many types how what's the main difference between system unit and the cpu and then we have discussed uh, the main forms of your system casing that is uh, desktop casing and tower casing and both have their own plus and minus points then we have discussed uh, the inside of your casing where we have two main components of power supply and motherboard although we have very much other details that we will discuss in our next classes to understand the components of the motherboard and what are their functions till then if you have any question you can discuss that take care thank you love is